welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Crasio. And I'm Dr. Rochelle. And welcome to our home. The show is about us recapping our week. We say week, but it's more like month this that's, time. That's true. Well, Ta we record the show once a month. R right now we do. Okay. Yeah. So recapping our month and talking about what's been helpful to us in the hopes that you're able to apply it and make your life better. And this week we're talking about the CrossFit Games, pancake and waffle mix, which being delicious, our children still don't eat it. One of our kids eats it. Sometimes. No, he eats it every morning for breakfast. Me? No, Ari. <laughs> and what's the last thing? Commonwealth coffee. Yes. One of our, our favorite, favorite coffee shop. One of our favorites, for sure. So, um, you don't even have to care about the CrossFit Games. The whole point of talking about this is getting out of your comfort zone in an effort to become a better human being. We've all heard, you know, that growth happens outside of our comfort zone. One of the, I wasn't challenging myself fitness wise. So one of the ways that I wanted to grow was to become more fit uh, and to increase my health that way. So here's the thing, the CrossFit Games have already started. You can go to games.crossfit.com, that's correct, right? I think so. And you can pay attention to the leaderboard and they announce all the workouts. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to actually do the workouts. Test yourself, see what you're made of. If you're not a member of CrossFit or if you're not, um, if you don't think that you're healthy or fit enough to do these workouts, respect. All you're gonna do is find a good affiliate, somewhere that has good coaches, good trainers. They're gonna be able to show you the workout in a way that you'll be able to do it without harming or hurting yourself because safety is really important with this stuff. And then what you can do is you can compare yourself with everyone else so you know where you rank. And then you can train throughout the year and then next year you'll get to do it all again. What was the number that you shared this morning? How many pounds are you down? 42, since last year. Since last year. Yeah. Right, so for us this has become a yearly check-in with ourselves to see how our fitness is, mm -hmm. uh, to see how our body composition is, and it's fun. It's fun to get together in a group to do the workouts and have that excitement. Because you don't always see all your progress in your day-to-day -day workouts. Always, and, you never see And you it. have like bad days or bad weeks or bad months or whatever it is, you know, it's the cycle of life and it's a good way to check in and see where you're at from last year and I think it's fun. We were just talking about how, how many cookies we eat throughout the year, <laughs> yeah. right? But here's the thing, right, is you're there because when you're eating- You love the, cookies. You love cookies. When you're eating the cookies, you feel really bad and you're like, oh my God, I'm totally derailing myself. But if you look long term, like a year is much more long term. And when you track year to year, you're like, oh my God, I'm still down 42 pounds and I'm still much fitter than I was last year. And I still got to eat some cookies along the way. Exactly. Right? And I mean, it's not- we're joking. Yes. Uh, we're, our diet, I mean, you didn't lose 42 pounds because you continue to eat cookies to the same rate. We got better and better, but you still feel like crap when you do something that you know is not right. And, you know, it hurts your self esteem, is what I'm saying. So, track the year. It's a lot of fun. Uh, all the info, again, is below. So, click the link and follow along. Yes. It feels like I kind of stumbled my way through that. No, you didn't. Okay. What's up? Uh, so on my ever growing hunt for finding things that my kids will eat, I always when I'm at Costco if I see something new that's in line with how we eat, um, I always pick it up and give it a try. So I found this awesome uh, waffle pancake Again mix. Again at Costco? At Costco, I know. Can Costco start giving us some money? Uh, Costco. Great Costco find. <laughs> so you can make it into either pancakes or waffles. All you have to do is add water, mix it up. It's super easy to make. Why and is it good? Why do you like it? I like it because it's easy. Like like I said, you just add yeah. water and yep. then you just pour the batter in the pan and you flip it. So it's, it's super straightforward. Um, one of our kids eats it, the other one doesn't. Great and I eat it. So I mean, three out of four is, is great in my books. Um, and the thing with Costco is they don't always have everything week to week. So if you see it, pick it up. Um, yeah, so it's, it's uh, gluten-free, grain-free. It's made with almonds, coconut, um, cassava, and eggs. So great find. And next. Last, um, lastly, but not leastly. Not leastly. Wanted to share one of our coffee shops that we love to go to in London. We have a great coffee culture here and we're always looking for it's new getting places. Better. It is, for sure. Yeah. Some really awesome places have opened up over the last few years. And one of the places we've been loving going lately is Commonwealth. 
and it's downtown on Richmond Street. Um, the owner, Carrie, is just so amazing. And, she's, and if you want to follow along her Instagram account, Commonwealth Coffee, uh, it's, it's amazing. I'm, I'm always drooling over the coffees, the different foods that they're making there, and they're soon introducing like a donut bar um, into their place. It has a great vibe in there. The aesthetic is beautiful. They're always so kind with the boys when I bring them in. Uh, it's just a great place to hang out with awesome coffee. Um, they have a great retail section too with lots of different coffees that you can purchase. So yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to Commonwealth. And if you haven't been there, highly recommend making your way down there and spending some time. Do you want to go to Commonwealth right now? We're going to go right now. We're going right now. <laughs> That's a true story. Have a great week. Uh, let us know if there's any comments or questions. Please post them below. We'd be more than happy to answer them. That's what we do with comments or questions. And if this was valuable, please like it and share it. And we'll talk to you next time.